Hey up, it's Louise. I am back from my big birthday blowout bonanza. Big extravaganza. Big extraordinaire. Birthday uh, trip to London. And ugh, we did so much. So much. And I'm really tired. Uh, so, this is one video that's going to contain all of the museums that we went to. To be fair, we don't really go to that many. Um, we went to the Natural History Museum the first day we got there. We went and did the behind the scenes spirit tour collection. If you like things in jars, I do. If you like things in jars, if you like giant squids, if you like weird stuff, I definitely recommend booking on for that. It was so good. I've done it before a few years ago, but it's amazing. It's disgusting. It's like all like fish all shoved into jars and they're all folded in half and like things with the heads cut off. Oh, it's so gross and really, really fun. And they have like two coelacanths there and coelacanths are my favorite fish. If you didn't know that about me, I love coelacanths. They are the best. So yes, day one, we went to the Natural History Museum. I, I'm kind of like over the dinosaurs a little bit. I'm like so over the dinosaurs. I like to see the birds, which are the modern day dinosaurs, obviously. Uh, so yeah, we went to the Natch, did the spirit tour. I avoided the dinosaurs, but Dippy is back now, baby. Dippy is back and she is in like one of the like display rooms. She's not in the front. So I did go see Dippy because I do love Dippy. She, she makes me happy. I just went to see the birds and then I think that was it for that day. But yeah, we also went to the V&A. Um, they had nothing in the gift shop, which was really disappointing. Nice to just sit and people watch. But the V&A overwhelms me because there's way too much stuff. Um, saw the Harry Styles slash J.W. Anderson knitted cardigan. And now I want to make one of them in crochet. Uh, just because I'm like, I was looking at it and like, I could make that. I could make that if I stop making hexagon cardigans, but that's by the by. And we also went to the Grant Museum, which if you like things in jars, go to the Grant Museum as well. It's free, completely free. And it's got like disgusting stuff in jars and it's like a working sort of museum. So like the students at UCL will use all the specimens to like study from, I guess. And it's, absolutely revolting there's like skeletons and like heads chopped in half in jars and like pickles and it's fascinating i love the grant museum they've got like a jar full of moles and i love the jar of moles i love me that jar of moles so i'll put my footage in of me just fanning about in the museums but i'll show you first what i bought in the museum gift shops you know i love a gift shop Really disappointed that there was no good earrings in the V&A. Last year when I went, I got loads of pairs. So I got, uh, they don't really have much of a gift shop at the um, Grant Museum because like I so said, it's like, it's not like a full like museum, but I did get some like little bookmarks that have been made by local children, um, which feature animals from the Grant Museum and also the Petri Museum, which is like around the corner, which is the Egyptian museum. Uh, and it's just like, <laughs> saying like these are some animals this is a fact about animals they are in this area of the museum and i just thought that was cute and they were a pound and i love bookmarks because i have so many books i just thought that was sweet um and i also got uh, <laughs> from the natural history museum um because we went to the spirit tour and we got to see archie the giant squid um that was like caught and I think it was frozen and then like thawed out on the roof of the Natural History Museum. Um, so I was just in a real squid mood. I don't know if you can see properly in the footage, but I was wearing a jumpsuit that has squids on it as well. I was also wearing a coelacanth pin and my worm earrings because I was just feeling it. I was just feeling like I need to embody natural history today. I need to be a worm and a cephalopod and a bony fish um yeah so i was on a real squid kick so i got a giant squid plushie uh, <laughs> it's really nice this is, cost me 18 pounds though like i have a mortgage to pay why am i doing this it smells really nice as well because it's been in a bag with uh, lush stuff but like i thought it was cute it's got its big eyes it's got this thing it even has a beak it's cute. 
Um, but the issue is, I bought this and another plush toy. Uh, didn't realise that they wouldn't fit in the suitcase on the way back, so I was sort of just carrying them <laughs> around London like this uh, all day on the last day because our train wasn't till half three. So I was just like trompsing around from when we left our Airbnb at 10 o'clock, um, just carrying these. It's my brain squid. Okay. Uh, I also bought <laughs> this Ichthyosaur plush. Pl plush? Plush. Um, I just thought it was quite funny and also <laughs> it was on sale, it was half price because like, I know like kids love dinosaurs, I love dinosaurs, but kids like T-Rexes and like Triceratops, Stegosaurus, Diplodocus, Velociraptors that push, who the hell is like Ichthyosaurus is my favourite? No one. It's cute though. Yeah, um, I felt really guilty because there was a big stack of these and they were all half price and no one was buying them, so I bought one. <laughs> so it cost me nine pounds. I think it's kind of nice. I don't know. We have like all our weird, um, <laughs> like fish plushes. Like we have the big, like, shark and the sturgeon. Um, a coelacanth. I said coelacanths are my favourite. I'm a coelacanth there. It's just to hand because we're packing up the house to move. So apologies if you see any chaos at any point because stuff is all in boxes. We're leaving soon. Anyway, so yeah, I bought this and I bought this and had to walk around London on like a Tuesday, <laughs> Tuesday morning and afternoon just carrying these. But like you see worse things in London, don't you? But anyway, that's what I bought. I'll put in my footage. It was over a few days. So that's why my outfits change. It's the magic of editing. Dares you to touch the jar? No, don't, don't. <laughs> This is what gave eventually the inspiration to write Jaws. When is that where the one in front of people got it from? Yeah, probably. <laughs> Our collections yeah, are used. Yeah, we, 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 we've had Disney here, we, we've had DreamWorks, we've had all sorts of people coming to use our collections to, for, reference. for reference and just to have a look. And just, just to spark ideas. This is I've you. had some this groups you. of uh, student film. We walk straight through. If you push the button at the front, it's the yeah. Oh, no, I think it's the other side. That's the other side. Super dark. Why are we doing that? Dippy is back, baby. Oh. Is she called 
hoe. <laughs> but I like her the best. Stunning. Absolutely stunning. Birds, 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 birds. I love birds. It's my new single, I love birds, dropping on Spotify. Um, Napster and LimeWire. <laughs> It's a lovely overcast London morning from the little balcony of our Airbnb. Very nice. I left this book here when I was here last uh, last year. It's terrible. That's why I left it and no one's taken it. It was a really bad book. Our Airbnb is a mess because I just immediately threw everything all over. Also, nothing to do with anything. Why does London tap water taste so terrible? Sheffield tap water is amazing. London tap water is trash. Cancel it, it's trash. We came for another walk around the cemetery and we met this cat. This is the best day ever. Cemetery cat? Covered in sticky buds as well. Aren't you, Baba? You're handsome though. Huh? We're out here by a main road, by the, the Thames. Is it the sea? No, it's the Thames River. We're out in Chelsea and it's very posh around here. Look at these big posh buildings. Alara. Dead nice, isn't it? Very nice. Darmals. There's photos of it, it's just crazy. There's video footage of them. Is it really? The last one that was um, in Hobart Zoo. A shrew. That's the one, you know, where it's like, take a closer look at that snout. I can't get out of the camera. It's 
good day to be wearing this dress. <laughs> yeah. It's very fitting. Extremely B-52's voice. Squad Lobster! You're allowed to eat now if you want to. You don't have to eat on camera if you don't want to. Turns out Michelangelo's David is super small, and like hand for scale. Weird. The boar's head terrain is absolutely terrifying. I love it. Also this cat. I love him. <laughs> <laughs> 